Welcome back to Reynolds Sickers Family Farms, guys. Uh, today we're over here on Missouri River Bottoms. Uh, we uh, are getting ready to start combining some wheat um, here as we're beginning the next season. Uh, we uh, sold everything out of uh, the Heaton County and moved back closer to home. Um, got down here into Missouri, which right now we're sitting about two hours from where we grew up, so... We're going to uh, definitely uh, start a little bit differently than uh, our Tahitian playthrough. Um, we did owe the bank quite a bit of money, so we weren't able to get just the nicest, newest equipment. But uh, And down here right now, the prices are ridiculously high for some of that nice new equipment. But uh, we uh, got us a couple wheat fields and a corn field spread out over a few miles apart. Um... The farm we bought has two chicken houses, pretty good bin system, so we're going to uh, fire up the combine here and uh, get going. But we decided to move back closer to home um, for a few reasons. One, I uh, want to be closer to family. Two, uh, this is the area I've always kind of wanted to farm in. So we're going to uh, see, make our run at it, try our chicken houses, see what happens. Um, this part of the country here is a lot of chicken houses. So we're. Uh, we're just going to see how it goes. I mean, hopefully we can make out better than we did up there in Iowa. Um, Iowa's a tough game to play, not knowing that ground very well and stuff like that. But uh, we're going to make a go at it and see what we can do here in uh, Missouri. So we got a few acres to harvest here and then uh, we'll move down the road to our other wheat field and try and get it combined. Looks like we're yielding about 54.3 bushels the acre right now, which ain't terrible, so. We're going to get this opened up here, and uh, we'll get back with you guys here in a little bit.
filled up over here. Almost done cutting the headland rounds. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is the fertility wasn't very great on this field, so we're going to have to definitely work on that next year. Um, otherwise, I don't know if we'll make it. I mean, it's going to take a lot of wheat to keep two chicken houses fed all year round. We do uh, own two of these Chevy grain trucks, picked them up fairly cheap. Honestly, the move was quite expensive. Uh, up in Tahiti, we had a 4730 sprayer. I did uh, contact the guy we sold that to and bought it back from him and brought it down here. Um, but uh, that's going to kind of be where we start, honestly. We got a tractor, planter, and a drill. And really, we just got to keep the farm alive for a couple years until we can get some bigger and better equipment. I sure don't miss uh, the unload speed of these 8820s, but it's what we could afford and it's what we got. So we're going to definitely keep chugging away on these wheat fields and see how many bushel we end up with. I would have liked to have filled up on the other side, but we're on the first round around, but it is what it is. I mean, when we didn't raise the crop, we can't expect too much from the yield, so. Might honestly have to, as much as I don't want it, we might have to pick up another wheat field with the cash we have remaining, because we're going to have to do something. I don't think we're going to have enough to even fill one chicken house right now. We'll get back with you guys here once we're unloaded back to running. Alright, so uh, one of my friends from Kansas City decided to come up. But he uh, is going to run the combine for a little bit. Back when I had my little farm back at home, uh, he ran my combine a little bit out there, ran a hay mower for me, sprayed for me. He did a little bit of everything for me, so we're going to let him uh, take over the combine for a little bit. I'm going to go and see if we can't find some ground, because I really don't think we're going to have enough wheat just off of these two fields to feed the chicken houses. So uh, I'm actually going to take this truck that we have some wheat in. We're going to go because they just delivered some chicks this morning, so we're going to take it over to the farm and get it dumped in and feed them, but we're uh, going to be cooking along here. Hopefully we'll get enough wheat. Alright, so while we had a uh, my buddy over there running the combine, uh, I went and talked to a couple of the neighbors and they were telling me that they normally plant wheat here starting about next month. So I went and hooked up the cultivator and I figured we might as well start turning this place over while uh, he's finishing up combining it. We also did pick up a couple more fields. We got one just west of here over there by that shed uh, that's in wheat. And then we picked up some milo ground just south of the house a main farm so we're gonna uh get to ripping this up but, um, that way we can get wheat put back in i think we're gonna put all our acres to wheat next year just try and build a store but we'll see what happens But I'm going to start ripping through here. We're going to get some headlands knocked out. Well, we bought 500 chickens, so... Um, and then we also leased a semi and a trailer to haul eggs into town, so... We're going to just see how it goes. He's making some pretty good headway over there. He's already dumped one more time, so... 
so far we've gotten 440 bushel out of this place. We apparently need like 1,000 bushel out of this place, but we'll just have to see what happens. Beggars can't be choosers. fields we're opening this place up uh, the cultivators over there finishing up that uh, field that we just finished combining um, got the trucks moved over here I also did notice that we actually own a very large grass field back behind those barns over there so we're going to uh, disc that under and get it ready to plant as well um, that way we can hopefully have some pretty good yields so we're gonna do that and uh, we're just kind of waiting on this guy to finish up his passes around the outside field. I mean we got one more field of wheat to get combined and then from there we ended up pulling I think around a thousand bushel off of that last field which is okay but I don't think it's going to be enough so we're definitely going to push hard for a lot more bushels here but it'll just be what it'll be. Well guys, I'm hauling in my last load for tonight, so we're gonna, uh, I think their plan is to keep on running for a little while longer, try and get the other field worked up, and then, uh, get moved and combine the other wheat fields, so 
all I know is I'm exhausted and it's time for me to sign off. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe guys and we'll see you on the next episode.